Hi guys, so Ronan Walsh requested this video, thanks Ronan, and it's about using expired domain names as part of your link building strategy, and I'll give you some ideas and tips on what I actually do as part of this process. So the first thing um, I want to highlight is, it's not always about expired domain names. Now, when you're going for an expired domain name, in a lot of cases, all of the good stuff that's about to drop is caught by a guys called drop catchers. Now you've got Callan, who's well known in the industry, you've got guys like Matt Tricot, and there's a number of other drop catchers out there who have a whole bunch of nominate accounts and whatever other software and accounts they've got to catch expired.co.uk domain names. However, .coms and everything else normally go to auction, and that's where you can go to GoDaddy Auctions, and you can see the domains that are available on there and you can search for various different ones. Um, you know, and it gives you the price and all that kind of stuff and you can put this into Ahrefs or SEMrush or whatever you want to use to check the backlink profile and everything else. But I'll go into that in more detail in a second. Now, as I say, you've got auctions or you've got expired domain names and there's guys that obviously catch expired domain names called drop catchers. So there's three different ways of finding expired domains. Now, when it comes to looking for auctioned or expired domain names, I use a tool called Spamzilla.io and what this does is basically pulls all the data through for you onto a nice dashboard and as you can see they've got 4.5 million domains on here. Now I've not filtered anything at all, it tells me that these domains are available right now, it tells me that there's stuff in GoDaddy auctions for 299 or 99 or 199 depending on the domain name. So you can basically look here and you can see the trust flow, um, majestic href stuff here, um, it's got a spamzilla spam score and a whole bunch of other data depending on what you use as part of your metrics. Now, what everyone will want to know is what backlinks a domain has. So you can obviously see that here through Ahrefs and you'll be able to see the volume, the more the merrier. Obviously, good quality ones are what you're looking for. Um, and a lot of people will use DR as well, Ahrefs DR. So we can simply click on that and uh, I'm going to double click it. So this will show me the top domain names in terms of DR that are available just now. Now, again, there's no search filter on here. I can put in a keyword such as SEO or whatever, and I can see that the best I'm going to get today on here would be a DR49. Um, and it's up to me to then look and see if the domain has been spammed or not and Spamzilla have their own score and obviously some of the, you know, part of Spamzilla's algorithm would be to make sure that they, they check the anchors and if there's bad language in there then they're going to flag that up as potential spam. Um, there's also other stuff here, Fahad SEO. Now that one might be of interest to me, that might be some dude who had a blog or whatever and no longer does it and it might be something that is of slight interest to me so I'm just going to do what I normally do so I can check whether the information is right on there you know in terms of the DR what referring domains has this got um, it's got a lot of criminal record stuff uh, <laughs> I'm not sure the backlink profile is actually that great. So there's not, it's not that great. So I would probably discount this. Although it's a, a high DR, it's quite easy to manipulate DR. Um, and we can see there that, you know, it's it's got a, a whole bunch of stream um, links, which are basically there to manipulate the DR. So I wouldn't touch that one with a barge pole. Um, but you can obviously filter through, use different filtering options and find the expired domain names that suit you, that have the backlink profile that suits you, that have the topical relevance that suits you and everything else. So 
What do I personally look for in an expired domain? I'm looking at backlinks. I'm looking at it being relevant to some degree. I'm looking for it to be non-spammed. I'm looking for it to be on the way back machine. I'm looking for it not to have been, you know, not have been used and abused. Um, you know, not to have loads of outgoing links and all that kind of stuff. So the rest of these, you know, Alexa rank and all that kind of other stuff is really down to you and whether you feel that that's valuable or not. But there's tons of different options here, as I say, that you can filter it down. But what I'm looking for is that a website that's been in the Wayback Machine or that, you know, I can go and get from the Wayback Machine and uh, and I'll tell you why in a moment. So, as I say, DR is important to me. Backlinks are important and the ability to repurpose that website and grab its old content again is something that's of interest to me. Now, say it's going to be portlandseuexperts.net that I'm going to look at. I'm just going to have a look at this one as well. Put that in Ahrefs and that's probably got more generic um, backlinks and stuff like that. And if that was high powered enough, I would grab it. And what I would do with it, in all instances, whether I'm going to use this as a PBN, whether I'm going to 301 redirect it into my website, comes at a later stage. What I tend to do is use Archivarix, and what I'll do is grab the expired domain name based on the metrics that I'm looking for. I will repurpose the website using the same URLs and all the old content from the Wayback Machine. And the reason I'm doing this is to see if the domain name can rank again. Now, in between times when an expen uh, a domain expires, what a lot of people do is go to the Wayback Machine, take all the content off it and, you know, use it on their own websites. And when I repurpose the website, it may not rank because someone else has taken all the content and my content's been filtered out because it seems duplicate. There's a number of other reasons why your website may not recover as well after repurposing it. Um, and that's why I put a website up. If I can recover the old rankings and I can recover the old domain authority and all the old backlinks kick in, at that point I can make a decision as to whether I'm going to use that as a PBN or whether I'm going to do a 301 redirect to it. Now, what I tend to do is say it was a DR30 bot and I repurpose it using Archivarix. I may then, at that point, buy some guest posts. I may use SEO Autopilot on it. I may make that DR30 into a DR50 before I do the 301 redirect or before I start working on it as a PBN. So that is, you know, the kind of overall process and what I do when it comes to expired domain names. Everyone's different, everyone's looking for uh, different metrics, but as I say, what I'm looking for is non-spammed, fairly powerful, with a good solid backlink profile. That's all I want when I'm looking for an expired domain name. And obviously I don't want to pay through the nose for it either, but you can get some good stuff on GoDaddy auctions, even if you pay a couple of hundred quid. It's sometimes, you know, worth it. It's non-spammed. It's just really good. And you want to jump on it before it goes to the free market because someone else will. And that's why sometimes when you go to the free market where everything's listed here on Spamzilla, that is everything that's dropped and pretty much everything that no one wants. So that is the expired domain process. If you can't be bothered doing all of that and you'd rather go after a drop catcher who just simply goes after sheer quality and the real good expired domain names, then you should look up a good drop catcher in your local area. Callan is a guy, um, he's Bulgarian. Matt Tricot's based in the UK. I'm sure there are many others over the world. But give these guys a shout and ask to see what they've got available. And I'm pretty sure they will have something for you. And these guys are catching the stuff before they expire. The good stuff. 
and reselling on with a little add-on on top for themselves, which is perfectly fine, that's business, but you can get some real good stuff there for a real low price, so have a look at them as well.